I drank a Diet 2 6 of Ciroc last night and drove home. What? Oh. Drank two monsters, so I was fine. WTF? That's not possible. Nah, I just have a high tolerance for alcohol and monster counteracts the effect. No, it doesn't! Yeah, man, I'm telling you it happened. No, 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 it's exactly as I describe it. No, that happened. What do you mean I'm lying? Oh, mother I remember one time that I went to Starbucks with my two-year-old nephew and the radio was playing Piano Man. And my nephew was singing it and when we finished everyone laughed and the barista gave us three drinks. They didn't even mention the part where the espresso machine sprouted legs and started singing an army with a two-year-old. And then they sprouted arms and clapped until they were unplugged because the electrical cord and outlet also wanted to clap. But espresso machines don't need a legs to sing. Yeah, but they do need legs if they want to go dance along to the song. I started going to a fitness center two weeks ago. There's a doctor and nurse that go there with their babies to work out every other day and they happen to be talking about vaccines and they both said that they'd rather have their kids get measles than the vaccines for it. I asked why and they shared their professional point of view and it was just very awesome. Yeah, but what exactly did they tell you? Again, I say they shared their professional points of view with me and they were just awesome. What about the majority of doctors? No further questions! I mean, I'm a 10, and I am godlike in bed, so there are exceptions. Yeah, buddy, but you might think yourself as being this guy, when in reality, oh, you're this guy. <laughs> Just had my six-year-old start ranting on how corrupt the government is, and that she is proud that I'm raising her anti-vax. Isn't she cute? <laughs> that kid be like, uh... I don't like broccoli, um, and scary monsters, and the fact that our government is indulging in corrupt behavior which is in turn affecting the livelihood of every American and we should reform the system with fresh political ideologies and doctrines, and um, polio shots. <laughs> the Japanese say that every time we share this laughing Buddha, we receive money or very good news. It's true, I shared this yesterday and got two job offers. At McDonald's, my kid just called Fruit Loops Pride Cheerios, and I've never been happier in my life that this little dude calls me mom. Your kid's an idiot. We let the flag up during the rainstorm the other night. When God baited it and tied it to a knot at the end, so it wouldn't rip no more. This is how our flag came down from the flagpole. Amen, brother! Amen! And then we saluted the flag! And then the flag saluted back! Glory, glory, hallelujah! You are so full of cheer! My teacher told me she doesn't care if we talk as long as we whisper. So I whipped my head around and said, can it be a careless whisper? And my friend who plays the sax pulled out hers and started playing. The fuck does that mean? Whipped? Pulled out? The fuck she has in her pocket? She's like, oh, oh you wanna play something? I'll play you something. Let me let me get my instrument I use in, in balls and such. I call it my ball sack! A girl in my class just tell me to keep my distance from gay people because I won't be accepted in heaven and she only has my back. You won't even want to know what my response was. I was like, well, looks like I'm going to hell. People suck, man. Haha, <laughs> good on you. And then you spit her in her face, right? Oh no, I threw my rainbow latte made by a gay guy in her face and said, Taste the rainbow, bitch! Then sprinkled some skills and rainbow sprinkles on her. Man, this guy was packing! Imagine the guy was just waiting his whole life for something like this happen. Alright, here she comes. Ah, oh, he's the bitch. Where the fuck are my skills? Where the fuck are the sprinkles? Ah, oh, give me that latte! Come on, come on! Hey, Kimmy! Take that, you bitch! Taste the rainbow, motherfucker! 
I just blocked someone on Instagram and using my email address, he sent me a calendar invite to suck his dick at 9.30 a.m. on September the 17th. I never accepted an invite so fast in my fucking life. I went to my regular coffee place today. I sat down. No one served me for 30 minutes despite me putting my arm up about 1,947,291 times. This place wasn't busy. So I stood on the table and did an awkward dance until they noticed and took my order. This actually happened. My man, if you would have raised your hand that many times, you would be looking like this guy. Look at this. Oh, look at him. I bet he can open a jar of pickles with only one hand. Scratch that. Only two damn fingers. Look at that thing. Oh. We went to the Waffle House at 2 a.m. and it was super chilly outside. So the workers gave us serving trays to go sledding outside of the restaurant. And our waitress took my phone and charged it when it died. It's not a Waffle House, but a Waffle Home. I bet the story from the other side was something like, Yeah, officer. These two came in our store. They took two serving trays from the counter and started pretending they were sleighs. And then the lady left her phone to charge without even telling us. The knife. Was that? Oh, nah. That won't be necessary, officer. I took a crotch shot with their phone. That's punishment enough, believe you me. This stud started counseling today. That would make four out of five of us in therapy. During his evaluation, he said, so Gabe, this is kind of a quick question for such a little boy. Have you ever thought about your future? Like what would you like to do when you are grown up? Of course I have. I'm going to be a sky white and a husband. I'll be a boyfriend first, then a husband. Oh wow, that's great. Can you tell me more about being a sky rider? Uh, you fly an airplane and write messages in the sky for people. Oh, yes, yes, go on. What type of messages? You know, love notes for my girlfriend, Mama. I beg your pardon, your girlfriend? Yeah, my mom. I'm going to marry her when I'm a man because she's the bestest, most beautiful woman I ever saw. Oh, that's sweet, Gabe. Do you know why you are here? Yeah, I gotta talk to you and stuff. I need to make better choices in school and at home. I get frustrated a lot. I can't focus in school and I'm mean sometimes. And I wish I had a daddy like all my friends. No, Gabe. You are here because you want to marry your mother. But she's the most beautiful woman. No, no, no. You're a little psycho, you know that. But I want to kiss her and hug her. Up, time's up, you little Ted Bundy in the making. See you in the next 20 years. My son's Earth Day poster. I'm a proud mama. Oh, God, she crossed the T out and it spells plain. Oh. <laughs> Recycle on flat earth, it's the only that exists. Oh, exists! Oh, flat earth day! Oh, oh but I know where this belongs. No, no, not on the fridge. In the freaking trash! That's where! Is This is garbage! Apparently, my mom's not even home! And the person I hear puttering around the house is the carpet cleaning service! I've been yelling grill me a cheese at them for 20 minutes! Grill me a cheese! Grill me a cheese! Oh, I'll grill his cheese all right. Come here, little <coughs> shit! Come here! Here comes the cheddar! <coughs> okay, guys. This is everything I have for today. If you like the video, please like the video. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you comment, please comment the video. And I will see you in the next one.